Sunday, December 2nd, 12 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, this next video, we're going to go to the surface of Mars, where they found what they're calling shiny things, in quotations. And this is a picture recently sent back to Earth of what looks like some sort of a shiny object. This one here, I think, is probably the most interesting of all of these objects that I'm about to show you real close underneath some different filters and different color adjustments and you'll see what I mean this one is very interesting it looks like a, a row of teeth maybe a gear strip for something I don't know it doesn't look like some sort of a random natural artifact that you would find on the ground it's really kind of interesting and they also found what they're saying is a meteorite which I believe and that is in a different picture but here's a closer look at this little object here that looks like a row of shark's teeth this under different lighting let me show you i put together a little video looks like gold check this out and this was recently discovered on the surface of mars we don't go to mars too much i always stick close to home but every once in a while there are some interesting things that show up on the surface of mars and I think this is one of those times. They're saying that this object is kind of unique. They've never seen anything quite like this. And here it is under a different filter with some lighting adjustments. This is the original, different filter. And you can see um, without any uh, heavy modification from me, it's just a different filter, it did give it a gold appearance. And that's the original, which is in black and white. This is the filter again. It does look to be gold. They're saying it's probably some sort of a meteorite, that this is probably some sort of a meteorite as well, which wouldn't surprise me. It's got to happen. They're all over the Earth. I'm sure they're all over Mars as well, too. But this doesn't look like just some random rock. This is the original, and this is under a different filter. And you can see it looks thin. It looks kind of long, and it's got what looks like teeth on it doesn't look like a random rock meteorite but I could be wrong here's a meteorite or at least that's what they're calling this thing I'm gonna go in real close here in just a minute you can totally tell its color doesn't fit in with the background I mean this is more of a reddish and you got some black here this is almost kind of a light green uh, emerald light emerald I don't know it's a different color than its surroundings that's for sure almost has what looks like some burn marks here but Mars not having any type of atmosphere, so to speak, I don't know how it would have a whole lot of resistance coming through a non-atmospheric planet. But either way, it does look like some sort of a um, meteorite that we would even find here on Earth. And that's on the surface of Mars, recently sent back to Earth just a few days ago, I think. You can see it's kind of got some shiny ref uh, reflective properties to it also interesting doesn't fit in with the terrain definitely so probably came from an outside source these look like real thin pieces of wood and that almost looks like it's concave it's got a little bit of a curve to it this one's more flat I put it in a different filter and you can kind of see the thickness of this one looks like 3 8 inch uh, subflooring if you've ever put in subflooring in a house Real thin plywood, I guess, is another good example. Very uh, super thin plywood. That's what that reminds me of. Even though it's clearly not some sort of a shale rock, you can see pieces of it laying around. Here's some here, over here, broken pieces over here as well. It's just kind of odd that it's so perfectly flat. It's extremely thin. This is probably some here also. But this one's kind of curved. I don't know how it got that curved appeal to it when it's a rock, or supposedly a rock. Very interesting stuff coming from the surface of Mars. And as you guys well know, the InSight lander has landed recently on the surface of Mars in search of seismic activity. And I also think it's probably uh, got a multi-purpose mission, which most of these rovers that have been sent to Mars do. This one, its uh, main focus is on quake and uh, quake activity but I would guess that it's looking for subsurface water because we really can't proceed too much further 
on Mars unless it has surface water. And right now, it's bone dry, at least on the surface. Looking at this picture of Mars, you can see what looks like frost up here at the North Pole. A little bit at the South Pole, you're seeing some here. That's because it doesn't have an atmosphere, and it's very cold most of the time, except for at the equator during the day. Everywhere else is pretty cold because there's no atmosphere to trap the heat inside. So if there is water coming through the surface, which it does look like there is, small amounts, albeit it's going to freeze rather quickly because there's no atmosphere. However, if the water inside the planet which I firmly believe there's an ocean under our ocean. The water that we see on the surface of Earth is extra water that doesn't fit underneath the surface. That's what gives Earth its atmosphere, and that's why we're so unique in this cosmic neighborhood, because we have surface water. You get the water flowing along the surface of Mars, it will develop an atmosphere, it will trap heat, it will contain oxygen, Life and organisms will begin to thrive on that planet more than likely, and then human exploration could begin. If there is water underneath the surface, which Italian researchers say they finally spotted hints of liquid uh, water beneath Mars' surface, and this is back July of 2018, there's probably a lot of water underneath the surface of Mars. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.